Phil Lesh, bassist and founding member of iconic rock band Grateful Dead, has died. He was 84, the news was announced on Lesh's verified Instagram on Friday, which said he died peacefully on Friday morning. He was surrounded by his family and full of love. Phil brought immense joy to everyone around him and leaves behind a legacy of music and love, the announcement on social media read. We request that you respect the Lesh family's privacy at this time. No cause of death was immediately available, but the Associated Press reported that Lesh had previously survived prostate cancer, bladder cancer and a liver transplant in 1998 brought on by a hepatitis C infection and years of heavy drinking, a native of Berkeley, California. Lesh co-founded the band Grateful Dead in 1965 in Palo Alto with Jerry Garcia, Bob Weir, Ron Pigpen McKernan and Bill Kreutzmann. He also trained on the violin and trumpet. Lesh eventually earned second chair in California's Oakland Symphony Orchestra while still a teen. Lesh was driving a mail truck and working as a sound engineer for a small radio station in 1965 when Garcia asked him to play bass for a fledgling rock band, then known as the Warlocks. After getting a feel for the instrument and studying with Garcia, the pair would often trade off on who would lead the melody of the songs they created, thereby establishing one of the many specialties the dead would become known for long and improvised passages that meant no to live performances of a certain song were ever alike. It's always fluid, we just pretty much figure it out on the fly, Lesh said, during a rare interview with the AP in 2009, you can't set those things in stone in the rehearsal room. Although mostly known for his legendary and freestyle bass playing, Lesh composed music for some of the band's most beloved songs, and also occasionally provided vocals. Among those tracks were Pride of Cucamonga, Unbroken Chain and Box of Rain, in 2002. Lesh along with Weir observed what it felt like for the history-making group to perform on stage. It's when the pipeline is open, and that eternal moment, as he is describing, which is where music really lives, is open to us and we become the vessel to which that passes. So in a way music is about bringing eternity to time, Lesh told CNN at the time, in response to Weir's remarks. The band became known for its legendary live performances, blazing the trail for other popular groups to follow, like Fish. Regarding the dead staunch fanbase and following, Lesh said in 2000 to that it's the community that really generates this music, and we are just there on the receiving end to tap into the pipeline and feed it back to them, maybe at a higher level, so we get it from them, and we give it back to them.